How do you deliver successful digital advertising campaigns? Start where it's easiest to generate immediate sales. That means focusing on the marketplaces. These are the places where people go with their wallets open, ready to buy something now. For example, advertise on Amazon or optimize your product listings for keywords that people search on Amazon. If you sell red hats, make sure you show up at the top of Amazon whenever someone searches for a red hat. You can do the same thing on other marketplaces like app stores. One trick here is to copy what the top sellers are already doing. This way you don't have to reinvent the wheel and waste a lot of money on advertising experiments. Next, I consider Google Ads. Here, you're able to target people who are actively researching to make a purchase. For example, if people search buy email marketing software, show up at the top. I'm talking about Google search ads here, not Google Display Network and not YouTube. These are prone to waste your money, so they require more advanced training that I'll talk about later. The third place to look is social media advertising. Facebook is generally the first social media to start with. And by Facebook here, I mean Meta, which also includes Instagram. If you're in business to business, you normally start with LinkedIn due to superior targeting options. Facebook's AI is making it easier and easier to make money. So normally you would start with a sales campaign. These are the easiest types of campaigns to run because you can trust Facebook's AI to optimize the targeting and placements and pretty much anything to maximize your revenue. You can't trust the AI for something else and I'll talk about that later. You're best off making a square shaped video that includes a title at the top and a subtitle at the bottom. This is because most people watch Facebook ads on mute. So don't count on them listening to it. You gotta count on them reading the text. You have to install the Facebook pixel on your website so Facebook knows when a sale occurs and the AI knows how to get you more money. In some cases, you don't need a website at all. You can just run a lead generation campaign and capture the leads within Facebook itself. Facebook provides a simple form that prospective customers fill out. Once a lead is generated, you can follow up with emails and phone calls to generate a sale. Facebook is generally the best social media platform because it reaches the most people and has the most data to properly optimize their AI. However, you will find great opportunities in newer emerging advertising platforms like Reddit. Next, you can consider other channels like YouTube, Spotify, and individual websites where you buy banner ads. Now, Everything I mentioned so far was focused on generating short-term revenue. These come from conversion campaigns and lead generation campaigns. Eventually, however, you need to expand beyond short-term thinking. Only about 5% of customers are actively shopping at any given moment. So to get to the other 95%, you want a longer-term strategy. The main thing here is awareness campaigns where you optimize for reach, to reach as many people as possible. That way you can influence way more people than you can with conversion or sales campaigns. The problem here is that you can't trust AI to run awareness campaigns. It's going to put your ads into the cheapest possible inventory spots. For example, websites only visited by robots or channels that only children watch. There was a lot of fraud and deception when you run awareness campaigns. So you have to be very careful. That's why awareness marketing is really tricky. You have to spend a lot of time restricting where your ads show up and who is allowed to see your ads. Placements are the most important part here because you can't fully trust the targeting. So far, I've simplified digital advertising into basically two types. One, ads that generate short-term revenue, and two, ads that generate awareness. But a full funnel campaign promotes or sells six different things, not just two different things. So what are those six things? Well, at the top of funnel, we have number one, the brand, and number two, the problem. So we need to promote the brand, but we also need to promote the problem that we solve. In the middle of the funnel, we have three, the product category, and four, the product. So not only do we have to sell our product all the time, but sometimes we just need to convince people that the category at large is the solution to their problem. Next, at the bottom of funnel, we have five, your free offer, something like a consultation or a demo, and six, your paid offer, the thing that you're actually selling. 
So those are the six things, the brand, the problem, the product category, the product, the free offer, and the paid offer. And you allocate your marketing budget to each of those six things. For example, you might spend 20% of your advertising budget promoting your free offer of a free consultation. That'd be done with the lead generation campaign primarily. However, if you're promoting awareness for your product to educate people and raise awareness on what your product does, you might run an awareness campaign instead of a lead generation campaign. A successful digital advertising campaign starts first with identifying the people most likely to buy soon. Those are the people hanging out on places like Amazon and Google. Or sometimes it's the people that Facebook's AI knows are gonna to respond to your ad and buy your product. Then you expand by reaching all target customers, most of whom will buy in the future, not immediately. You do this with awareness ads on places like Facebook and YouTube. But make sure you carefully restrict where your ads show up. And lastly, you build out a full funnel digital advertising campaign that promotes your brand, the problem that you solve, your product category, your specific product, your free offer, and lastly, your paid offer. That's your recipe for making money from digital ads.